information after he asked for my ID and my information. I told him he can't have it because he, do, he doesn't have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. Do you understand what that is? I RAS? Do. RAS? So why'd you try to get my ID? I have your ID. So. Well, you got my ID from who? Through the system, make sure you got, my, got, you got my identification from my wife? Yes, sir. All right. Is that policy? We can do whatever we want. We're investigating. You can do whatever we want. Anyone We're cops. What's your badge? You get all your complaints. Okay. I'm going to give it to Lackluster yeah. on YouTube okay. or Direct D or Accountability for All, James Freeman. This guy over here tried to be soliciting my information. Okay. What do you think? Your freaking six months of police training has given you, like, do you think you're a lawyer or something? You guys go for six months of training and then you beat your dogs and your wives. Until they, until they know there's no crime. But if you do fail to give that information, <laughs> you can be arrested. My ass. No, I, reasonable, no. articulable suspicion. A phone you. call is not reasonable, articulable. No, no. I can call my and say my neighbors are over there and I hear violence going on. And then you're going to call and you're going to make them ID because you got a phone call? You're wrong. Kyle is a quadriplegic after suffering an accident at work several years ago. Kyle lost his balance and fell several stories out of a building. Kyle's wife is his at-home live-in caregiver. On Saturday, May 27, 2023, at approximately 4 a.m., after checking on Kyle to make sure he was okay, she decided to go downstairs to get something to drink. After going downstairs to get her drink, she ultimately fell asleep after a long day. While she was downstairs, the alarm on Kyle's catheter awoke him. As a quadriplegic, he's unable to change his own catheter and requires the assistance of his wife, as he does for many things. He began calling to his wife to no avail as she was fast asleep. In that time, one of the neighbors heard Kyle's calls and instead of offering help, called the police to phone in a possible domestic. At approximately 4.15 a.m., Harrison, Ohio police officers Sergeant Miller and Officer Boyle responded. And this was the mistake that was made. Someone called the police for help. And instead of responding with compassion to a handicapped man and a family that was going through turmoil, these officers responded like SWAT for the crime of the century. This man, in his moment of need, mentioned four channel names. Mine was one of them. We hear you, Kyle, and we're listening. What happens next will appall you. I'm not yelling at you, freaking yeah, you dumb dumb. I'm being perfectly... No, you're not. Yes, I am. What, are you going to put it disorderly because I'm speaking right. like this? If that's what we have to do. Well, then it's okay, so, it'll be the, an illegal You're the arrest. one out here yelling, okay? I'm We're talking yelling, normal. Miller? What's right. your badge number? 83. 83, and you work for Harrison P PD? Yes. Oh, and I live here. I love to show corrupt police. You're going to come to my house, tell me I'm being disorderly, and when I'm talking in a normal fashion, so you We can didn't hear me? tell you you were being disorderly. We told you, you we came told here for a disturbance. Me. And you just said you're in public and you're being disorderly. You're in outside right now. I'm outside? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I can go inside and tell you to go. Go ahead. All right, Miller. Yo, do you guys have, like, physical training stuff? Where are you? On? I'm going to look up. I'm going to get in your jacket. I'm going to get all your complaints. Okay. I'm going to give it to Lackluster on YouTube okay. or Direct D or Accountability for All, James Freeman. This guy over here tried to solicit. She's getting my, my wife's giving her informa my information, which is fine. I got no warrants or anything, but he's soliciting my information. Okay. What do you think? Your freaking six months of police training has given you, like, do you think you're a lawyer or something? You guys go for six months of training. And then you beat your dogs and your wives. Okay. <laughs> Look at this freaking Gestapo over there. So what's, what's the deal? What's the deal? I was yelling because my wife wouldn't wake up to turn off the TV. Okay? It seemed to me like this would probably escalate. It's not going to escalate at all. Based on his demeanor. It's Dude, I'm videotaping you. It's a first but. First yeah, Amendment right. protected activity. About your video well, what? Because I'm being, because I'm being, uh, not complying with your every order. We I don't have to. You. 
We haven't asked you. He he's has. Talk, he's talking to her. He's getting my information after he asked for my ID and my information. I told him he can't have it because he doesn't have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. You understand what that is, I Raz? Do. Our information after he asked for my ID and my information. I told him he can't have it because he doesn't have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. You understand what that is, I Raz? Do. Ras. Okay, I'm gonna get in your jacket. I'm gonna get in his jacket. I'm gonna you figure out go back what's back. going on, how many complaints you have, how many different yeah, offices sorry, you've been with. You don't scare us. Uh, you don't scare okay. me, you fat. Okay, you don't scare us. All right. <laughs> Look at you, you fat. You can't even finish the freaking physical therapy. The physical. Okay. Look at this Gestapo. So we're gonna take off. Seems like there's no crime going on here. We're gonna. Come no sure. so why don't you try to get my ID. I already have your ID, so. Well, you've got my ID We're from who? Through the system, make sure you got my, got you got my identification from my wife? Yes, sir. All yeah. right. Is that policy? We can do whatever we want. We're investigating. You can do whatever we want. We're cops. What's your badge number, us? Boyle? 219. 219. If you ask something and they want to answer, they can answer. That's fine. That's how, that's you're how not going to find works. anything anyway. I'm an outstanding member of society. Speech, so do they. All right? You have a good night, sir. Yeah, <laughs> fucking All right. You too, Boyle. you <laughs> And you too, you fat fat go get on treadmill. I know you guys got the money for the gym. I'm gonna come see you at the office, Boyle. Who is this? Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Here we night, go. Sir. Yeah, fucking loser. Do yourself a favor and get a better job. Quit fucking raping society. Loser. Losers. Harrison PD. Harrison PD. At its finest. Trying to get my ID. Ha <laughs> ha! My own house. Get this pig. I'm gonna flip him off when he comes back through. In the days following, Kyle went to the police station so he could file a complaint and was confronted by the chief of police. If the old adage is true that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, it's understandable why these comps were so unprofessional, irate, angry, and violent, because they were led by the example of their unqualified idiot chief. Proof. Give me your complaint so we can investigate. You're a freaking straight coward. Thank you, sir. Can you I have your information? Charles B. Yeah, you can have my, you already got my information illegally from your officer. Sir, I need the information. Why don't you go the in there because you're not, you're obviously not equipped to handle this conversation. I'll deal with Lieutenant Ramsey, I'll get my stuff and I'll get a dated signed copy that shows that they, you received it for court. I need standing. And if you try to kick me out of here for trespassing, this is a public place. I, I haven't broken the, the law. Don't talk over me. Don't talk over me. I need the documents. I'm going to give them to you. I got them printed out. Everything I need a stapler. That's it. I need a little assistance. I'm in a wheelchair. I have use of one quarter of my body from here up. Don't be a dick. Are you going to give us the information? Absolutely. Sir? That's what I'm here for, you bum. Are you kidding me? I drove down the street. For 30 minutes to come and do this. And you, so I get, this I get, don't talk over me. Can be slid right through this window. I need a printed. The officers are not going to listen to you call me and our department name. I can redress my grievances against you however you, I feel. We're done. No. We've met Sergeant Miller and Officer Boyle. We've met the chief. We just didn't think it would be possible to find someone even more dumb than them. After filling out his complaint, Kyle went outside to film some police cars. When another brave coward walked up to him and told him that was illegal, called it in, and told Kyle he was detained. After this brief interaction, Kyle left, but was never told he was no longer detained. Genius. Until, he, until he know there's no crime. But if you do fail to give that information, <laughs> you can be arrested. Not bad. Reasonable, I'm, articulable suspicion. I'm a phone you. call is not reasonable, articulable. I can call my and say my neighbors are over there and I hear violence going on. 
and then you're gonna call and you're gonna make them ID because you got a phone call. You're wrong, Roach. Okay, I'm, I'm you're you know, wrong, bro. I'm letting you know I'm not. You're definitely wrong. I'm not. Absolutely reasonable, articulable suspicion. You can't say a phone call gives you RAS. And that's why they're, they're investigating it, and they can't investigate it if they don't know who they're talking to. That's it's a Fourth Amendment violation, you fool. It's also a violation not to give the. It is a law. It is a You're law. a go, dude. You spend a lot of time at the shooting range. Go to the law. Do go to the law library more and look that up. Rather than going and shooting, I know, what, I know what prosecutors tell me. Dude, you are wrong. You're oh. making a fool of yourself. Okay. We have 57 people. Do you folks remember how I told you Kyle was detained, and how he was never undetained? Well, I'm happy to report that over two months later, after he left the police department, he is still detained. Wait, what? Do we, do we have that right? We do. These morons are so dumb, they're so quick to detain you, they forget that legally they have to undetain you. Uh, lawsuit incoming. And remember to always film the police. And the police aren't there to help you, to serve, to protect you. Case law exists that police aren't there to serve and protect. They're there to uphold the law. The major mistake that was made here is that the neighbor didn't walk over to Kyle's house and ask if he needed help. Instead, he called thugs in costumes with guns and badges. And then cops did what cops do. They violated his rights until the wheels fell off. Kyle asked for our help, and he got it. We'll give you a follow-up lawsuit incoming, and don't forget, that's the reason I stopped you today. And on a follow-up note, Harrison PD in Harrison, Ohio, you need to do better. And the people are not happy. The First Amendment exists for a reason. Our ability to hold you accountable when you do the wrong thing is like the rest of our rights. It's inalienable. Serve the public. Our cameras and our eyes are on you.